seriously, my wife tries to eat me up when I wear this thing. Let's start this video off with a fragrance that you guys have given me so much crap about not mentioning lately, and that is Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Extreme. Now, the original Spice Bomb is great. Spice Bomb Extreme is a bit stronger. It's going to last longer. It's going to project a bit more. This is a linear fragrance, meaning that it's going to smell the same throughout the life of the fragrance. It's got a bit of spice, which is going to be the pepper. The vanilla, though, is what really sets this and creates this creamy. Just it is sweet. It is nice. The ladies love this. This thing is going to get you compliments. It is going to project. Now, the tobacco is really what makes this a bit more masculine. Got a bit of lavender in there, but overall, this is a great scent. Some people feel it's overplayed. I don't think so. I mean, there's enough guys out there that just aren't wearing anything. You want to smell good? This is a no-brainer. Next up, I got a fragrance that nobody talks about, and that is Davidoff's Amber Blend. This one's been around for about four years, and it really came in under the radar. Now, as the name implies, this is an amber-based fragrance. So if you've never smelt one before, this is a great one to start with. But you can't pick up the other notes. So we're going to have nutmeg and cinnamon right at the top. We're also going to have a bit of rum mixed in with the amber, but the amber is the dominant note. We've got sandalwood in the base. Overall, a solid fragrance. This thing has sillage. Basically, it projects. This is something that's going to last all day. And if you look around, you can actually find it at a decent price. Now, speaking of amber, let's talk about Bad Boy. This comes from the house of Carolina Herrera. And I have to say the performance on this isn't great, so this isn't going to be the one I recommend from Carolina Herrera, but if you love the smell of amber, if you want something with a bit of cocoa, basically chocolate, and you don't mind it only lasting about four to five hours, this is a great one. Now, if I'm going to recommend a Carolina Herrera for the winter that's going to last long, that's going to have projection, I'm going to recommend CH Privé. I really like this one. It's got a nice boozy scent. So the opening notes here, we've got whiskey, grapefruit. Then we get into lavender, cardamom. This thing right here, it's just a great fragrance. Absolutely love it. A little bit of wood as well down at the base. This fragrance for me lasts a good eight hours and projects well. Next up, let's talk about Perfumes de Marley. This house has been around only 10 years, but they've got over 30 fragrances out there. And in my opinion, the vast majority of their fragrances fit perfect with the winter. So right here, Godolphin, if you're into leather fragrances with a bit of fruit, this is a very wearable leather fragrance. There's a lot of them out there. You just, they're difficult to wear. This one is easy and it's really nice and smooth. Well, let's say you want a bit of tobacco, maybe with a bit of vanilla down there at the base, a little bit of cinnamon pepper at the top, mixed in with a bit of incense, you're going to want to check out Herod. But if there's one perfume to Marley, I have to recommend above all, when it comes to projection, when it comes to longevity, I have literally put this on sweaters and picked it up a week later. This is the one you need to check out. It is Carlisle. So up at the top, we're going to have a bit of apple. As we get into this, all of a sudden you've got patchouli, you've got vanilla, a bit of roast. This thing is, in my opinion, a masterpiece. It gets compliments. It's an amazing fragrance. And again, if you're going to start off with Perfumes de Marley, this, in my opinion, is the fragrance to do it with. Now that last set of fragrance I know can be hard to find and they can be expensive. So what's something that you can walk into a store and actually try? check out Armani Code. What I love about Armani Code is for a winter fragrance, is actually pretty versatile. And I think it's because of that citrus. You've got the bergamot, you've got the lemon, but very quickly you're gonna pass that and you get into the aromatic. You start getting into the base of this fragrance. It's gonna be the tonka bean, the leather, a little bit of tobacco in there with guaiac wood. There is just something about this combination. A great fragrance and one that a lot of guys pass over because it's been around, it's out there, but uh, I think it's a great choice. Now, if you checked out the code years ago and you're like, come on, Antonio, I want Want something a little bit stronger. I want something that projects more. Have you checked out Profumo? So in case you don't know, this flanker right here, I think is even better than the original. I think it's the apple at the top. As I start to get in this, the cardamom, I'm a huge cardamom fan. So they just made it a little bit, it just projects better. It's more aromatic and it's still got that base that we remember with the leather and the tonka bean, just a really nice fragrance. And if that's still not enough, you want something with a code DNA, but just a little bit sweeter, actually quite a bit sweeter, you want to check out the Absolute. So I tried this one and I have to say, I absolutely love it. Again, sweeter fragrances in general are going to get you compliments, are going to last in general longer. So this is perfect for the winter. Again, if you're just filled, the code is a bit dated. You want to check out the absolute. They just breathe some fresh air into this. I really like that apple citrus top. And then they get into it, that vanilla mixed in with the leather. Just a really nice base. Just a great fragrance. All right, Jen, so really quick, if you haven't heard, I'm launching my own fragrance brand. I know another YouTuber launching another fragrance brand. This one is going to be different. Why? Because I'm focused in on the science 
of smell. A few years back, I didn't wear any fragrances, but I kept finding all this research about how when the, you smell this certain note, you react this way. How this note can actually make you more attentive. This note can make you more focused. This one can help you to relax. And you look around, there's so many of you guys that want to, let's say, go to the gym consistently. You want to be committed. And how do you do that? How can fragrance help you? So, because of that, because I started diving into all this research, I realized, wow, there needs to be a fragrance brand out there that explains all this and creates fragrances that can help you be more committed, maybe be more honorable, more courageous. Yes, guys, the honor, courage, commitment. I was in the Marine Corps, so these were our these were our core values. Anyone in the Navy knows it as well. Army, you guys know this, Air Force, Coasties. Point being, anyone that has served for a purpose, hire, you know, a part of the military as a first responder. You guys know that there's bigger ideals we shoot for. And I was always disappointed with all these fragrances. They seem to just all focus in on sex appeal. Hey, I'm not a prude. I love sex. But when it comes down to it, what if you wanted to give a fragrance set as a gift? Or what if you want a fragrance set that you, when you wear this commitment, it's going to remind you that you've committed to waking up at 5 a.m. and stepping out and going to the gym? Can a fragrance, you know, make you lift weights more? Not necessarily, but a fragrance can remind you if you condition yourself to be more committed. And that's what's interesting. So we're setting up these courses. I'm diving into the psychology. And my goal is to put out these fragrances that teach you about the science of scent so that they can maybe help you a small amount each day to condition yourself to be more courageous, to be more confident, to be more conditioned, to be committed to your goals so that you can go out there and become the man you know yourself to be. If this sounds remotely interesting. Guys, check out the link down in the description of today's video. I'm going to link over to an early bird list where I'm sending email updates, a lot more information than I'm going into right here. But this is something that I'm passionate about. I'm excited because I really think that the market is open for disruption. Being able to put out a fragrance or series of fragrances that really focus in on that science of scent and that you can condition yourself to become a better man. Sound interesting? Again, guys, check out the link down in the description. Now, some of you guys are saying, come on, Antonio, give me something affordable. Give me something simple. Check out Dunhill Custom. Nobody seems to talk about this fragrance. I think it's amazing. It does. It doesn't last as long as some of the other fragrance I'm talking about, but it's a fraction of the price, and it's really nice. Very simple. If you like incense, this is a great fragrance. It's got that apple at the top, but then it gets into the incense, and it's just a really smooth, simple fragrance. A little bit of pepper in there, a little bit of wood as well at the base, but just a simple, clean, very simple ingredients a solid fragrance, highly recommended for the winter, and like I said, affordable. Sticking with affordability, next up we've got Rochas Man. This is a nice, affordable gourmand. So if you like coffee, a little bit of raspberry coffee, maybe a little bit of vanilla down there at the base, a little bit of citrus at the top, this is the fragrance for you. And it's relatively affordable if you like gourmands. And gourmands are fragrances that remind you of food, perfect for the winter, and ladies love them. You will get compliments, especially if she likes coffee, which it seems most women do. Now, if you're into gourmands and you want to wear something that no one else is wearing, you want to check out Navitus Perfumes Absolutio. So, this was one of my favorite fragrances from my friend Steven's line. If you're not familiar, he put this out a while back. It's got the saffron with the apple, but what I really like is it's got the caramel with a little bit of chocolate. Just a really unique fragrance. And speaking of gourmands, let's talk about Amen Mouglet. This one is a classic, been around for a while. I like it because the price has gone down. You can try it at duty free stores around the world. And and this one right here is a very unique scent. If you want something that smells like coffee, got a little bit of chocolate in it, something that's still got a little bit of citrus at the top and blends it masterfully, this is the fragrance you want to check out. That being said, you're going to see a ton of flankers out there. And my advice is to give it a shot. I find that Mugler has done a really great job with these fragrances. In general, I haven't grabbed one that I don't like. So right here, Havan, if you like cigars, malt and tonka. And the one that surprised me the most, Crypto Mint. And these do a good job of lasting a long time. And uh, yeah, chocolate chip cookies with mint. Who would have thought this would make a great fragrance for a man? Seriously, my wife tries to eat me up when I wear this thing. Now, what if you want something new? What if you want something hot? You want something sweet? You want to check out Mansara Instant Crush. This one just came out and this is a vanilla musk saffron bomb. It's powerful. It's going to project and this is going to be very sweet. Some people describe it as cloying, but I think that overall it's a fine fragrance. Again, you need to like sweet fragrances. You need to know what saffron 
saffron smells like, but if you like it, this is maybe a fragrance that you should check out. Now let's return back to where we started. So we started off with Spice Bomb. A lot of people know about that because it's a great clubbing fragrance. It projects, it is going to be overpowering. The same thing you could say about Versace Eros. This one right here, classic clubbing fragrance, and I think works great for the winter. But, you know, if you want something a little bit different, check out Arrow's Flame. It's very similar, in my opinion, except it's got a really sweet orange. But this is a complex fragrance. This is something that I personally enjoy. I think it's a great winter fragrance. A lot of people, um, yeah, they feel, you know, it's just too much for them. But uh, if you like the original Versace Eros, check out the Flame. I think it's even better. Now, gents, I know I'm leaving some fragrances off this list. So, let me know down in the comments what I missed and what I should have added to make this list better. So what video to watch next? How about how to find your signature scent? In this video, in detail, I explain how to find the perfect fragrance for you. Yeah, check it out, it's right here.